Hi, I'm Jonathan Huco from Cap7. Now I'm here to talk to you today about um, as I'm a smaller player, other teams would like to match me up on their center. And I'm here to give you some tips on how you can guard their center or not guard. Um, so the first tip I'm going to give you, you start the game or you start a quarter, you line up at the ends. You're not going to line up against their center. Uh, when you score a goal, you're going to play defense. Don't guard their center. But let's say they scored a goal, now they get to choose who they get to guard. Um, typically, if you're a smaller player, their center is going to want to guard you, take advantage of that mismatch. Uh, no time, you don't have to freak out here. What you do, or uh, what I did, was if I got matched up on the center, I drive them down to one or five, all the way down to two meters. Now, if you drive them down, a lot of the times the center wants to play guard point. So if they're guarding point, it's quicker for them to get down and establish the, the center position. So you may lose them there. If they drive down with you to one or five, don't freak out. You have uh, ample time, the whole, the whole offensive shot clock, to get a switch, maybe set a pick, maybe drive across the five or drive across the one. Uh, centers usually don't like swimming that much, so you may lose them there. If you don't, so you still don't have to panic. You have the whole transition. Transition game is big. I would, if I was playing at position five usually um, on, on an offense, my center got countered, I would pick up the center defender. So I'd switch up right there. I, would, I was fast, I'd catch up to him, and there would be a switch right there. Uh, if you don't do that, that doesn't happen. You still don't have to worry. Um, swimming down the pool, you can look for a teammate to switch with. If that doesn't work, you may end up guarding the center. Now, the key to guarding the center is body positioning, keeping your hips up, and communicating with your teammates. So if I am guarding the center, and I'm not doing it with my hips up, my hips are down, he's gonna be able to grab me and manhandle me. Maybe. Um, but your hips are up, you're moving around, you're always disengaging. Centers are always going to be trying to guard, grab you. You can use your goalie if you're fronting. You can use your goalie to help you, tell you where the ball is. Now, let's say the, the two-meter man does get position. If we go into a drop, I'm going to be yelling for help. If I'm stuck behind and I have someone coming to, to help from, let's say, position four. The person from position four is able to come back Maybe they're a center defender, and if we can get a front switch, that leaves me to go swim out and then guard their man. We're in a front, everyone presses, we're good to go. If the, uh, the drop from four drops from four and they're, they're not a center defender, we're gonna stay in a drop. Um, I'm not going to be wrestling and fighting with the center because I don't want to get kicked out at that point. I have a, a, a drop to help me. And then, worst case scenario, that person at position four shoots the ball. If they miss, we get a block. The first thing I'm doing is burying that center. I want to make him pay for taking me in to two meters. I'm going to counter down. I'm going to get, at least get an offensive opportunity or set my teammate, teammates up to get a good look on their goal on the counterattack. And those are some tips you can do as a smaller player.